Welcome to Chassis Crazy Creations. Head over to the dollar store and grab a few supplies. We're gonna turn this boring wreath form into something fun for summer and a great gift idea. Let's get started. What, there's a materials list? Look for the link in the description below. For this DIY, you're going to need a variety of seed packets, some faux flowers, and a wreath form. I grabbed 12 seed packets from the dollar store and then I placed them onto the wreath form the way I'd like them to be. Now, if you want, you can remove the seeds from the packets in advance, but I'm also gonna tell you another little tip that I would use this for. For this next step, I'm using a cool glue gun and I started by placing little dabs of glue onto the wreath form and then placing the seed packets on top of the glue. Now I waited for that to cool and I kept moving around the wreath form till I got all of the seed packets onto the wreath form. And then I started hot gluing the seed packets to each other to reinforce them. I grabbed some faux flowers as well from the dollar store and then I removed the little flowers and the leaves from the stems. I took the flowers and I hot glued them between some of the seed packets and I just placed them wherever I felt like doing it. I added some of the leaves as well until I used all of them up. And then I grabbed some ribbon and I cut a piece off and I tied a little bow and then I hot glued that bow near some flowers on the wreath. Now I kept the tab that it hangs with in the dollar store to hang it up with, but you could easily use the wreath form as well. One of my favorite things about this project is not only is it a DIY summer wreath, but it also could be a great Mother's Day gift idea as well, or a gift for any occasion. Would you give it as a gift or would you keep it for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. For this wreath, I started with a pizza pan. I took it outside and I spray painted the whole thing white and let it dry completely. So for this wreath, I was inspired by lemons. So I drew the lemon wedges inside and then I used a Sharpie to make the peel on the outside. I used yellow paint to paint the wedges and then I used another shade of yellow to create some texture for the lemon inside. Then I used a galvanized metal sign that said welcome and I hot glued it to the top as well as a burlap bow. On the back, I hot glued on a little twine so I'd be able to hang it up and my lemon wreath was done. I can hang it on my front door and leave it up for all spring and summer long. Now let's move on to the next DIY. Now, one of my favorite flowers is a daisy. So we're gonna create that with a wire wreath form. We're gonna also use some white plastic clothespins and then we're gonna use a dollar store mirror. Now I started with the white clothespins and there's a little tiny hole there. So I use that to clip on the outside edge. Sometimes it can reach up a little higher, but I went and clipped these around the entire circle of the outside edge of the wreath form. Now it's time to work on the second layer. So this time I'm gonna clip on the top two and I'm gonna try to clip both of those wires in so it lays nice and flat on that third wire. And then I'm gonna take that and do that all the way around so that I've got a second layer of clothespins on the top. Just like before, I'm going to use the little tag that came with the clothespins to hang it with, but you could alternatively use some fishing line. Now I'm gonna add the mirror to the center and I'm gonna use some fish line and I'm just gonna tie it to the top and the bottom and the sides, anywhere I feel like that I need to just get it secure so that that will stay in the center of my daisy clothespin wreath. Here it is all finished and hanging on my front door to greet guests. And I love how it turned out. Now, one of my other favorite clothespin wreaths that I made had writ dye involved. So I started by placing the wooden clothespins in a bowl and then I added water and writ dye, the liquid kind, to the bowl. And I let these soak for quite a while, overnight. After they soaked, I let them dry out completely. Just like before, I placed a layer of the clothespins around the bottom and then I did another layer clipping the other clothespins, a second layer on top so that they had the two layers. After that, I went ahead and took some brown paint and painted the center like a sunflower. I added some flowers and some burlap ribbon and my sunflower wreath was complete and I love how this one turned out. Want to be notified of future videos? Look for the link in the description below. I'm using five wooden spoons and I purchased them very inexpensively from Amazon. I started by hot gluing the handle of one spoon to the back end of the spoon side of another spoon. I continued this step with a third spoon, again gluing the handle to the back of the spoon side of another spoon. I then added a fourth spoon and then finally a fifth spoon. The great thing about the hot glue is it's a little pliable so you are able to make the star shape that I'm trying to create easily. Now because of the layering, there are some gaps between all of the spoons. I went ahead and added some hot glue to just hold those a little more steadily into place. 
Now the hot glue worked well on some of the sides, but as you can see here, this side has a pretty big gap. So I wanted to reinforce it a little bit more. I didn't want anything taking away from the star, so I used some fishing line and I cut little pieces of that and tied each of the intersections of the star together. Now you can leave the spoon as is, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it white as my front door is pretty dark and I want it to pop. So I'm using some Apple Barrel multi-surface paint in the color white. And I painted one coat on to the entire spoon star and then I let that dry and then I gave the entire thing a second coat. I love Apple Barrel paint because it's water soluble so it's really easy to clean up afterwards whether it's on your skin or your brushes or anything like that. Now that the white paint is dry, we're gonna move back to the star. And I grabbed these ribbons from Dollar Tree and I need to decide where I wanna place it. The top, the bottom, the center. Where do you think I should put the ribbon? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna be putting it in the center of the star, but I want to shorten these ribbons up and I could cut them, but instead I'm gonna take some hot glue and glue them to the back. Now we're ready to hang it up. Now I added a little fish line to the top. You can hang it like that, or you could use a magnetic hook and hook it onto your door. For this DIY summer wreath, I grabbed some tinsel and a wreath form from the dollar store. I started by wrapping the tinsel around the wreath form. Then I continued around doing that. Once I was done, I added some lights to it as well as some extra ribbon. And then I hung it on my door and I love how it turned out. And I hope this inspires you to create some summer wreaths of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Want 21 sensible home hacks to make you a smarter homeowner? Look for the link in the description below.